Tazamaji, mauaji ya Starlet wa Ho Mwangi yanazidi kuchimbua serikali kuhusu mshukiwa mkuu wa kitendo hicho cha unyama John Matara. Sasa mwanamke mmoja anayewasaidia wasichana hao kupambana na dhulma wakati wa kazi hii, Tatanishi, amejitokeza kutoboa mengi zaidi kuhusu Matara. Sasa imebainika kuwa Matara na kundi la watu kama sita hivi wamekuwa kiendesha shughuli hii kwa zaidi ya mwaka mmoja. Amekuwa kifuatilia taarifa hii mwana habari wetu Brian Obuya na sasa naarifu. Hakutaka kutumia jina lake kamili ila anajitambulisha kama Morin na wakati mwingine Black Cinderella kwenye mitandao ya kijamii. Morin kwa muda mrefu alijishughulisha na kazi ya kuwaburudisha wanaume kwa njia tofauti na kujipata kuwa mtetezi wa wasichana wa aina yake. Na kwa sasa baada ya wingu la aibu kuyeyuka, Morin anasimulia mambo mazito zaidi kumhusu John Matara. I encountered him last year in April. A friend of mine had notified me that she was going to have a male visitor that she met on a dating site at her place. And then when he came around he was nice at first to her. I even visited my friend uh, just to check up on her because we were neighbors. Then all of a sudden after a few minutes or less than an hour I had some cry of help from my friend's house and that's when we, we, were, we were trying to enter the house and it was locked from the inside and it seemed like she couldn't get to the door. Kisa anacho kizungumzia Maureen ni hichi hapa. Kanda hii ilirekodiwa aprili mwaka jana wakati John Matara alitafuta huduma kutoka kwa msichana mmoja kabla ya kukataa kumlipa na kuanza kumfunga kwa kamba. Ati anasema atijamfanyia service. John Matara huyu hapa aliyevalia nguo ya samawati. Mpole usidani ni yeye ndani ya mfuko wake visu vitatu msichana huyo akaponea chupu chupu so while the boda boda guys handled him we they were able to like search him and they found some rope on him and a tape like the tape you can tie someone in the second time i came to hear about john matara was when my friend on the 31st of december 2023 my my close friend uh, notified me that she had been beaten in a certain apartment behind Quiver, Quiver Club, Quiver Thicker Road. And I had to actually go over because she was injured. Maureen anadai kuwa pamekuwepo na kesi nyingi tu zilizo ripotiwa kwenye vituo tofauti vya polisi ila kesi hizo zikiwema mauaji ya mmoja wao hazijafuatiliwa na maafisa wa polisi. In fact, we have reported at Kasarani Police Station about John Matara, not once, not two, because we also have a friend who was, who, was, who was strangled to death in an Airbnb around Mirema, and we reported it at Kasarani. Until today, if you go there and ask them what have they done about it, nothing. Kisa kingine ni chatarehe 31 December mwaka jana. Msichana mmoja napatana na John Matara kwenye nyumba moja, Father's Hub, barabara ya Thika. Baada ya kujamiana naye Matara kwa kawaida yake akampiga msichana huyo kitutu na kuanza kumtesa, kumteka nyara na kutaka wapigie watu simu akiomba pesa. Akamrisha msichana huyo kusema kwamba amepatikana na misokoto ya bangi na angehitaji 1500 kuachiliwa huru. While he had a knife on her neck and he was trying to like uh, ask her to call people for money. So John Matara has just been doing this like it's been a sequence and we have also been warning ourselves because we can myself I can identify him I have people that I can call here and there are so many we we all share the same the same experience with him Licha ya kuwepo kwa wathiri wa wengi inakuwa vigumu kwao kujitokeza na kuzungumza sababu ikiwa Kundi fulani la watu ikiwemo baadhi yenu watazamaji wanadhani kuwa wasichana hawa wanafaa madhila wanayoyapitia. Most of them this thing is not this 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 job is not something that the society actually encourages. They feel ashamed about it and at times you cannot just come out useme wewe unatembea usiku unajiuza utapata watu wenye wanakujudge utapata mtu mwenye haelewi maisha yako vile iko polisi wanazidi kumzuilia matara kwenye kituo cha polisi cha industrial area akiendelea kupelekwa hospitalini mara kwa mara kupokea matibabu huku ikibainika kuwa matara aliwahi kuwa mwanamuziki wa rege miaka mitano iliyopita hapo kesho 
Tutasimulia jinsi matara na kundi la wanaume na wanawake watatu limekuwa likiwahangaisha wateja wengine haswa raia wa Nigeria na kuwaibia hela zao kando na kuwapa kichapo cha mbwa. Brian Obuya NTV